How's it going, everybody? Too spooky here. And welcome back to the week of 101s. And if you don't know what the week of 101s is, we recently hit 100,000 subscribers, and because of that, I am bringing you 101 fact videos every single day for a whole week. Today is day number two, and today, we're going to be counting down 101 facts about Pokemon. This video was suggested by... Quite a few of you guys. A video about the Pokemon series as a whole has been something I've wanted to do for quite a while. So thank you to everyone who suggested this video today, and I hope you all enjoy because this one is going out to you. Also, real quickly before we get started, I just wanted to say that this video will be covering the Pokemon series as a whole. So the anime, any of the games, the Pokemon themselves, nothing is off limits. As long as it has to do with Pokemon. So now that you know that, grab your Pokeballs and let's just get started, okay? Number 1. The word Pokemon is actually just a mixture of the words pocket and monster, which is why some people refer to Pokemon as pocket monsters. Number 2. One of the creators of Pokemon, Satoshi Tajiri, has stated that one of his inspirations for initially creating Pokemon came from when he would hunt for bugs and trade them with his friends as a child. And his general fascination with insects helped him with Pokemon's conception. Number 3. Pikachu and Jigglypuff have been in every single regional Pokedex to date, despite both of them being Generation 1 Pokemon. Now when it comes to Generation 7, because Pikachu has been shown in trailers with a Z move, and Raichu has been shown with an Alola form, I think it's safe to assume that Pikachu will be part of this region's Pokedex as well. However, we don't know for certain if Jigglypuff will be in the regional decks for Generation 7, because as of creating this video, Alola Jigglypuff has not yet been shown. Announced or confirmed for that matter. Number 4! Pokemon currently holds the world record for the most photosensitive, epileptic seizures caused by a TV show, which came from the episode Electric Soldier Porygon, which caused 635 children to suffer from seizures during one airing which occurred in December of 1997. Number 5. Because of that episode, Porygon and its evolutions have never made a major appearance in the anime since that episode aired. Number 6. The original and first Pokemon manga series, Pokemon Adventures, has been continuously going since 1997, with a total of 52 volumes to date, and Satoshi has even stated that the Pokemon world in this comic is the world closest to what he wanted to convey. So if you want to see what Pokemon was really meant to be like, you should definitely go check it out. Number 7! Evolution and Shiny Pokemon were both originally fan-made terms, but they have both since become official canon terms. Number 8. The developers originally planned to have around 190 Pokemon in the first Pokemon generation, but because they only went with 151, they left a lot of unused data in the game, which led to the famous glitch, Missing No. Number 9. Pokemon Black and White took over a year and a half to develop, and because of that, development began even before Platinum was released. Number 10. Mew was the first trademark they applied for, even before the word Pokemon itself. Number 11. Voltorb, Electrode, Fungus, and Amoongus are all modeled after Pokeballs, and to keep that theme going, their shiny forms were also modeled after Pokeballs, except different ones. See, the shiny forms of Voltorb and Electrode are blue, which is supposed to symbolize a Great Ball, and the shiny forms of Fungus and Amoongus are purple, which are supposed to symbolize a Master Ball. Number 12. Arceus currently has the highest base stat total, which is 720, not counting Mega Evolution. Number 13. Out of all the physical rock attacks, Rock Throw is the only one that has no secondary effect or possible effect. Number 14. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the first half of the Pokemon's cry followed by the Pokemon's full cry would be heard if the Pokemon used Growl. Number 15. Before the release of the Generation 2 games, many websites and other advertisers referred to Meryl as Pika Blue because of how similar it looked compared to Pikachu. Number 16. Slowpoke has never used a move or attack in the anime, despite it being shown on many different occasions. Number 17. 
Pokemon has sold over 279 million copies worldwide, and the franchise itself is worth over 46 billion dollars. Number 18. There are currently three moves in the game that do absolutely nothing, which are hold hands, celebrate, and splash. Well, if you're gonna go splash around, don't forget to bring a towel to dry off after getting all wet. That way you don't catch a cold. Um, thanks, Towelie. Number 19. Pokemon Black sold more copies than Pokemon White did. Number 20. Sunkern has the lowest base stat total out of every single Pokemon with a total of 180. Number 21. Not counting e-reader or berries found outside the main series games, there have been a total of 77 different berries released. However, 10 of these berries were only in Generation 2, so if you don't count those ones, there have been 67 in total so far. Number 22. There is a young couple trainer or trainers with the name Lois and Hal in Generation 3, and this is actually an easter egg that references the parents from Malcolm and the Middle. Number 23. The most common typing is water type. In fact, over 120 Pokemon are water types which make up 16.6% .6 of all the Pokemon who've been released since Generation 6. And the water typing has had every single other typing paired with it at least once. Number 24. The rarest typing, or the typing with the least amount of Pokemon, is actually a tie between Ice and Ghost. There are 35 Pokemon in each typing which make up 4.9% of all Pokemon who've been released since Generation 6. Number 25. The original prototype for Pokemon was built in the original Nintendo system because it had similar power and mechanics to that of a Game Boy. Number 26! Diamond and Pearl were the first games that allowed you to catch a Porygon in the wild. Number 27. The move, Fire Blast, turns into the shape of a certain kanji that means fire. Some people thought it was a stick person. Number 28. There has still not been even one Dark-type gym throughout all of the main series games. Maybe Generation 7 will change that, who knows? Number 29. Lieutenant Surge's name in Japan is Lightning American. Number 30. Every single Electric-type gym leader to date has had light-colored hair, and as a little bonus, Electric gym leaders are the only gym leaders to ever wear military-themed clothing. Number 31. In Pokemon X and Y, there is a possibility that you will encounter a ghost girl in Lumio City after you get off an elevator on the second floor of a certain building. I'll play the clip for you now. That's a bit too spooky if you ask me. Especially how she was gliding across the floor like that. Anyway, the main takeaway from this is the quote, No, you're not the one. Well, in a different building in Lumio City, there is another hex maniac facing a wall, and when you talk to her, she says, Don't talk to me. If you do, I won't hear the elevator. So it is speculated that these two are somehow connected in some way. And in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, there is a reference to this as well. On Mount Pyre, there is a hex maniac that says the same exact quote. No, you're not the one. This shit is getting a little too spooky for me, am I right, guys? <laughs> Number 32. Back in Pokemon Red and Blue, there is a female trainer near the Rock Tunnel that actually references a Pokemon that wasn't even released until Generation 5. This Pokemon was Muna. Specifically, the female trainer says the Pokemon here are so chunky, there should be a pink one with a floral pattern. There is also a small reference to it in Generation 3, but I'm sure we'll get to that in another video. Number 33. Pokemon Go has been downloaded over 500 million times worldwide. Number 34. When Pokemon was pretty dang popular in the US, it teamed up with Kellogg's to make Pokemon Eggo Waffles and Pop-Tarts. I also remember Pokemon Macaroni among other things. All I know is that those Pokemon Waffles were my shit. Number 35. Latios and Latias were the first legendary Pokemon to have genders in-game. Number 36. 
Barak's eyes have only been seen fully open in the anime a total of three times. Number 37. The GS ball was originally supposed to contain Celebi, but because Celebi was the focus of the fourth Pokemon movie, they figured it wouldn't make much sense for Celebi to be in it, so they just dropped the idea and never mentioned it again, hoping that everyone would just forget about it. Number 38. It's actually possible in Generation 1 to trick certain Pokemon into using the move Transform. It can only be done to Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Spiro, and Fearow. Basically, these are the only wild Pokemon who can know the move Mirror Move, and you just send out a Ditto and use Transform. And if the wild Pokemon uses Mirror Move back, they will transform into a Ditto, and they will then remain that way. So if you catch it, it will forever be a Ditto. Number 39. More copies of Ruby were sold than copies of Sapphire when the games first came out. And I don't know about you guys, but I had Sapphire. Number 40. Pokemon Gold and Silver almost had the addition of skateboards in the game, but they were scrapped. Number 41. Every single ghost-type move has 100% accuracy. Number 42. Over 21 billion Pokemon cards have been created since their initial conception. Number 43. The famous Pokemon glitch Missing No doesn't exist in Pokemon Green, and can only be found in Pokemon Red and Blue. Number 44. In the Pokemon Adventures manga, Team Rocket experimented on the three legendary birds and managed to combine them into one. Number 45. In the anime, Pikachu and Meowth's personalities are completely opposite. And believe it or not, there is actually a reason for this. And there are a lot of factors that play into it. The main reason they're so different is because of the animals they're based on. Pikachu is based on a mouse, and Meowth is based on a cat. Cat chases mouse. Also, it has a little bit to do with the fact that one is a protagonist and the other is an antagonist, so their personalities needed to be opposite to set up a lot of Team Rocket encounters. And to make matters even stranger, Pikachu's Pokedex number is 25, and Meowth's is 52. Complete opposites when flipped around. Number 46! It has been estimated that over 1 trillion Pokemon have been generated in the games over time. Number 47. The Pokemon card Illustrator is the rarest and most expensive card of them all. Only 39 were ever created and how many are left to this day are currently unknown. Number 48. Dark and Steel Pokemon were introduced in Generation 2 to combat the Psychic Pokemon and to make fighting types more useful. And a new typing wouldn't be released again until Generation 6 with the Fairy type. Number 49. Something that doesn't really make sense in the first season of the Pokemon anime is Gary. See, Gary shows us that he has 10 badges, which is already two more than you can even get in a single region. But on top of that, only three of these badges are badges that actually exist, which are the Rainbow, Cascade, and Boulder badges. So either he's been to some new regions we haven't heard of yet, or he's pulling some real shenanigans. Number 50. Pokeballs were inspired by the balls that come out of Gashapon machines, which are basically like little vending machines that give you some prize in a ball. Number 51. In the Japanese version of the anime, Brock made rice balls, but for some reason the English version thought kids would get confused on what a rice ball was, so they changed it to donuts. Number 52. In May of 2014, the Nintendo DS Wi-Fi connection was terminated. And because of this, any Pokemon that was left in the GTS were basically killed off because you can no longer get them back. Number 53. In Pokemon Go, it is actually possible to get Pikachu as your starter Pokemon. All you need to do is continue to walk away and ignore the three starters that appear three times. Once they appear for the fourth time, Pikachu will appear with them. Number 54. The maximum number of points you can get in Pokemon Snap is 17,378,000. Number 55. N's full name is Natural Harmonia Gropius, and that is a mouthful. Number 56. In the Pokemon world, Pokemon are commonly eaten by humans. Number 57. For a short amount of time, Pokemon Go was more popular than porn on Google search engines. Number 58. The Swords of Justice legendaries in black and white were based off of the Three Musketeers, and Keldeo was based off of the younger, inexperienced Musketeer that was not part of the main three. Number 59. 
If there was ever a Pokemon that had every single typing, it would actually only have one weakness, which would be Rock type. Number 60. After you defeat Giovanni in his Heart Gold and Soul Silver event, he says someday you'll understand. After you return out of the battle screen, Giovanni leaves the room before you hear the sound of splashing water. So many people believe that he actually jumped off the cliff into the water and killed himself. However, Giovanni is present in Black and White 2 during the World Tournament. So unless the events of Generation 5 World Tournament occurred before this event in Generation 4, Giovanni is still alive. Number 61 there was a famous and fabled war in Pokemon that has been mentioned at least once in every single main series game so far, but will it continue with Sun and Moon? That is the question. Number 62. When Pokemon Snap was first created, it did not originally have any actual Pokemon in the game, and the Pokemon themselves were added in the last phase of development. And without them, I could safely say that Pokemon Snap would probably suck eggs. Number 63. Every single Pokemon professor of the main series games are named after a type of tree. There is Professor Oak, Elm, Birch, Rowan, Juniper, Sycamore, and now with Generation 7, Professor Cuckoo. Number 64. Executor can have anywhere from 3 to 5 heads, although 3 is supposed to be the most common. Number 65. Professor Oak is the professor that has appeared in the most generations so far. He appeared in Generation 1, and the Generation 1 remakes from Generation 3, Generation 2, and Generation 4. Number 66. The only Pokemon game so far where you get to see your character's father is Generation 3 and the Generation 3 remakes. Some of the other games at least mention your father, but you never actually get to see him in game. And who knows, maybe this will change with Generation 7. Number 67. Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver were the first games that featured HMs that all taught moves that can deal damage. Number 68. In an interview with Junichi Masuda, he revealed that the starter Pokemon for each new generation are the Pokemon that the most work goes into creating, far more time than any other Pokemon. Number 69. More Pokemon are eligible to gain the Steel Typing than any other type upon evolution, with a total of 9 different Pokemon that gain the Steel Typing after evolving. Number 70. Pokemon Emerald was the last Pokemon game to have a colored cartridge. Number 71. The three legendary birds each have a Spanish number in their names. Articuno has Uno, which is one in Spanish. Zapdos has Dos, which is two in Spanish, and Moltres has Trace, which is three in Spanish. But these are actually not the only Pokemon that have numbers of a different language in their names. In fact, there is a whole evolutionary line, which is the Hydreigon line. See, Dino has Ein in its name, which is one in German, Zvylos has Zwei in its name, which is two in German, and Hydreigon has Dry in its name, which is three in German. Just something small you might not know about if you aren't familiar with those languages. Number 72. During Pokemon's first movie, there is one frame present where Rapidash doesn't have any flames. Somebody fucked up and thought no one would notice. Number 73. Pokemon Gold and Silver was programmed by only four people. Number 74! In Generation 1, there is a glitch that allows you to fish in the statues at the front of the gyms. Number 75. In Generations 2 and 3, Kangaskhan's sprite in battle shows it's holding its baby over its shoulder when it's viewed from the back, while the front sprite shows the baby in the pouch like usual. Number 76. Fairy-type has the fewest physical moves out of all other types, which is only one physical move. Number 77. Generation 3 was the only generation that released two pseudo-legendary Pokemon. Number 78. Agron is the only Pokemon to lose its typing after it Mega Evolves, going from Steel Rock type to just Steel type. Number 79. Pokemon Red and Blue are the second best-selling Game Boy games of all time. Well, what is the first then, you ask? Well, it's Tetris. Number 80. And to top that off, the Pokemon franchise as a whole is the second best-selling video game franchise in the world. And what is the first, you ask? Well, it's me, Mario. Number 81. Many of the Pokemon's cries come from the old Godzilla movies. Number 82. The only two starter Pokemon that have a dual typing are Bulbasaur and Rowlet, which are both grass-type Pokemon. Number 83. Beldum, Burmy, 
Cascoon, Caterpie, Combi, Ditto, Kakuna, Kikitot, Magikarp, Metapod, Scatterbug, Silcoon, Smeargle, Tynamo, Unknown, Weedle, Wobbuffet, Why Not, and Wurmple are the only Pokemon in the game that cannot learn any moves from TMs. Not counting Pokemon from Generation 7 because we simply don't know if any of the new Pokemon will fall under this category yet. Number 84. Although this one is pretty obvious and quite a few of you out there probably already know this one, I'm still going to include it anyways for the sake of the minority who don't know about it. Anyway, Hitmonchan's name is based on Jackie Chan and Hitmonlee's name is based on Bruce Lee which is perfect for these fighting types. Number 85. The original name of New Bark Town in Generation 2 was going to be Silent Hills, and most people speculate they changed that name to avoid being associated with the game Silent Hill. Number 86. Fighting type is the most common secondary typing found in starter Pokemon. Number 87. Ken Sugimori was planning on creating a Mega Flygon for the 6th generation, but he ended up getting Artist's Block and decided not to. And it is currently unknown if Mega Flygon will appear in Generation 7 because no new Mega Evolutions have been announced, or if Mega Flygon will ever see the light of day in general. Number 88. Pokemon Yellow is the only Generation 1 game that Charizard can learn fly. Number 89. In December of 2005, the Pokemon magazine Koro Koro ran a contest where you could name a new Pokemon move that would appear in the Diamond and Pearl games. And the move that won was Draco Meteor. Number 90. Audino is the only Generation 5 Pokemon to receive a Mega Evolution. Number 91. Pokemon Snap was originally called Jack and the Beanstalk, which is why the fake development team Jack and Beans is shown in the beginning of the game. Number 92. With base stat totals of 780, Mega Mewtwo X, Y, and Mega Rayquaza have the highest base stat total of all Pokemon. Number 93. At one point, there was going to be a Pokemon designed after Dolly, which was the first cloned sheep. However, they decided to scrap this idea to avoid controversy. Number 94! If you were to import Missing No into Pokemon Stadium, it ends up coming out as a substitute doll. Number 95. There are currently only 13 Dragon-type moves, which is the fewest of any type. Number 96. All three of Misty's sisters have naturally black hair, and their colored hair is just wigs to cover it up. Number 97. In the third generation games, when Wally teaches you how to catch a Pokemon by catching Ralts, there is a chance that this Pokemon can be shiny. And on top of that, there is also a chance that Wally can knock out the Ralts, and the game will continue as if he caught it anyways. The chance of this occurring is 1 out of 8,574. Number 98. Ekans backwards is Snake, Arbok backwards is Cobra, and Muk backwards is... well, never mind. Number 99! Although Pokemon has been around for over 20 years now, Ash is still only 10 years old. Number 100! Pokemon Gold and Silver were supposed to be the final Pokemon games and the final generation. However, after the release of Red and Blue in America, the games became extremely popular and Pokemon blew up around the world. So the creators ended up changing their minds, and thank Arceus they did. And the moment you've all been waiting for... Number 101. Today, it is still being debated about which Pokemon came first. See, Rhydon was the first Pokemon ever created for the game, and because of that, it was also the first Pokemon programmed into the game. However, although it was the first Pokemon designed, its po Pokedex number is 112. The next possibility is Bulbasaur, which the argument for this one is that it is number one in the Pokedex, so it could have come first. Then we have Arceus, which is basically the god of all Pokemon and creator of the Pokemon universe. But it also didn't come out until Generation 4. And finally, the last contestant is Mew, which is said to be the ancestor of all Pokemon. So of course we have no definite answer, but I want to know which Pokemon you guys think was first and why in the comment section down below. But there you have it everybody, 101 facts about Pokemon! Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today and hopefully you learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video. But that is not all. If you leave a like on this video, 
there is a 0.00267% chance that you will receive your very own Pokemon. Which Pokemon is unknown to me, but if you are one of the lucky few who will receive this Pokemon, it will show up at your doorstep someday within the next 17 years. So just make sure to open up that door every day and maybe you'll get your very own Pokemon, but the chances are slim, so don't count on it. Also, don't forget to like and follow Too Spooky on his social media and Twitch. Links are in the description. And no matter what you do, always make sure to bring a towel. You'll never know when you're gonna need one, so it's always good to keep one handy. Um, Towly? What? Oh yeah, and uh, feel free to send Too Spooky something in the mail. His P.O. Box address is down there as well. Well, is that okay? You did good, Towly. You just gotta lighten up a little bit on the whole bring a towel thing. That's not exactly what the focus of these videos are about. Well, yeah, I get that, but it's also very important that people are educated on proper towel use. Someone's gotta do it, and it just happens to be me. Okay, well, we'll deal with that later. I just wanted to say, Tally, that I'm very proud of you for not doing any drugs today. Oh, well, thanks, but uh, I'll probably do some tonight when I go to bed. <sighs> we'll talk about this later, Tally. Anyways, I hope Bane made his flight. He was running a little bit behind. Um, excuse me, sir. You aren't allowed to board the plane while wearing that mask. You'll uh, have to take it off. Well, I would if I could, but this mask is what's keeping me alive. Sir, do I need to call security? Oh, no, 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 that won't be necessary. Here, I have a medical card. Um, I've never seen one of these before. Well, I guess it'll do. Please move along. Why, thank you. Huh, last time I was on a plane, I was pulling some pretty crazy shit. I'm glad I turned my life around. Well, this flight is probably going to be a long one, so I better get comfortable. I just hope Carl hasn't done anything stupid since he was on the news. Huh. Huh. Well, I finally made it. Hello, Mount Tai. Now, if I remember correctly, he said he lives in a cave near the top. I guess I better get climbing. Whew! It looks like I finally found it. Welp, it's time to get my memory back. Here goes nothing. Hopefully they're both doing alright and we'll make it back safely. Anyways guys, today was the second video in the week of 101s, which means we've got five more videos left, and I've got some pretty juicy stuff on the way for you guys. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when the video comes out. But anyways guys, if you cannot get enough too spooky content, well why don't you click here? For 10 facts about Rayquaza, which was actually the previous Pokemon fact video. And if that's not doing it for you, well why don't you click here? For 10 facts about Ditto. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. So stay tuned. Well, looks like not even the empty vacuum of space can end my pathetic life. I guess that means I need to go back to Earth and kill that Kakarl kid. Sucks for him, he had a really nice idea too. It just looks as if nothing out there can kill me. I guess I'll just have to keep trying though. Anyway, I'm off to go kill Kakarl.
Wait a second. How the fuck do I get down? Did he plan this? Oh, that makes me fucking mad. Just wait, Kakarl. When I figure out how to get back down to Earth, you're dead.